Today we're doing a video that has been highly requested by you guys. It is my everyday natural but glowy makeup. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Alexandra. This is Alana. Hi. My dear friend Alana. Mm -hmm. Alana used to be a MAC trainer, a MAC makeup trainer. Yep. Um, we met on set, really, became really fast friends. Yes. And now <laughs> she comes over, I would say like a solid mm -hmm. seven days out of the month to do my makeup. You guys requested that you wanted to see us do a collab together. Um, so we're gonna go through the steps of how I get ready. You're Yay, ready? I'm so ready. <laughs> This oil is called Elixir Lux Botanical Facial Oil. And I think that this might be Alexandra's favorite part of the day. Especially at five in the morning when you're like, now I'm just gonna massage your face with oil. Right? I'm like, yeah, okay, that sounds yeah. good. So I warm it up a little bit in my hands and it's just like a really beautiful botanical mixture of oils that are really great for her skin. Very balancing and I know that she just generally like feels like it's like waking up slowly, right? Yes. Look at that it smile. Smells so good. <laughs> I know, and she like glows. So I just use like a couple drops of that and give her like a little little jaw massage, a little face ma face massage. It's my favorite part. A little bit on her neck. A little bit goes a long way and it just smooths your skin. Next step. You've added moisture to your face, so I always just like to add some lip conditioner to your lips. Mm -hmm. So it basically just gives them a nice cushiony feel while we do your makeup. And then they're even more ready for your beautiful signature lipstick. That's a really good tip. Yeah. It's like, I think often sometimes folks forget to hydrate. You, you hydrate your, your face, but yeah. then add the lip at the same time. Because yeah. then it has time to like marinate, if you will. I love that. So then usually once the oil and the lips are feeling conditioned, I just start bouncing into eye. And there's something that we use every time I do your makeup, which is the 24 hour extend eye base. It's a primer by MAC. Just use a really sheer, sheer layer. And it creates a surface that's so um, wonderful for eyeshadows or pigments or anything that we're gonna put on your lid for the day stops them from creasing, which is why I know sometimes you shoot like a good yes. 12, 10, 12 hours. Yeah. And I don't want things melting. I'd say the primer, just one light layer on your lid is really the way to go. Amazing. And then I usually um, just jump in with some really nice neutral colors. So we made this palette uh, from MAC shadows and typically like you just like a look that doesn't look like a lot of makeup. Yes. But I like to give you just a slight bit of sheen because I find that it's the glow that you're looking for, yes. right? So fluffy brush, tiny bit of product. I think this color is actually called All That Glitters. Basically you. And I'm just gonna... <laughs> and I just do a, like one small bit of color all over your lid starting at your lash line. And I basically come up to like where I sort of feel your eye um, starts to go up into your brow bone. So it's just very simple, all that glitters, all over your lid, fluffy brush. How does it feel? So nice. I love getting my makeup done. She does like getting her makeup done. I think so the first time I ever did Alexandra's makeup for a photo shoot, she asked for a smoky <laughs> eye. Well, well and I'd I never met her before. <laughs> So. And you did such a beautiful job. Oh, thanks. So then, usually under your eyes, I like to add just a little bit of color. So I'll mix this soft matte brown with a bit of woodwinked and just look up. I tend to just like to accentuate your lower lash line just a hint. Like we're just talking like the tiniest bits of color. And some days I feel like I like to get give just a, a hint of definition on the outer corner as well. So I use a little bit of that woodwinked and a little bit of the soft matte brown, literally one dip per, and just blend on the outer corner of your eye. How Love do you it. feel? So good. And pretty much that's it for lid space. Then it's really nice to add brightness to yes. the inner corner of, of your eyes. This is my favorite step. This is her favorite part. So we either <laughs> like to use this 
bright kind of beige color, which is called shroom, but I know your favorite is actually melon pigment. So this too is a MAC pigment and I like to just use a stiff brush because it is a loose product. And then I just go right into your pretty little inner corner, give a dab and blend. And it's got kind of a golden quality. It's just so beautiful, especially when I watch back videos. Yeah. I like notice it kind of shimmering. It's a really nice step. Yeah. And it just really draws attention to that part of your eye and, and just brightens. Like yeah. if you're ever feeling tired, that's yeah. a good trick. Now, for eyeliner. This is an eyeliner you picked out, actually. Yeah, it's from Ulta Beauty in the States. Classic felt tip liner brown. The reason I like this one is because I got it in a brown color, and we were doing black before, and I just feel like black for me is a yeah. little, like, dark. Yeah, yeah. It's a little aggressive. It's like, almost like harsh for you. Harsh, that's the yeah. word. But I like, yeah, this one's like a softer brownie black. Yeah, yeah. so this is where symmetry becomes um, part of the party, and <laughs> Usually how I like to create the symmetry is I have you look at me with your eyes open and what I like to do is pretend I'm drawing a little um, line up from your lower lash line. So I'll do like a little, a little tick on each eye. So right now it's just tiny little dots, but guess what? When you close your eyes, then I can actually, I know which angle I wanna go. So then I'll just start doing little strokes from that tiny line that I used as my guide point. And we don't really even do your whole, um, your whole lash line. And it's nice, we can just build it up. That's the beauty, I would say, of uh, kind of felt tip markers like this. Just do small little strokes and you can decide how you want it to look. So now I'm just gonna go to the other eye. Do you wanna look in the mirror, are you okay? No, I'm good. You trust me? Of course I do. Um, my tongue might come out now because I'm concentrating. She never sees this part <laughs> because her eyes are closed. But meanwhile, I'm holding my breath. Yeah, tongue is so out. Funny. Concentration, Alana. <laughs> okay, so just little strokes with this pretty brown liquid liner. And essentially what this does is it makes your lashes look even thicker and just defines your eyes. Open for me for a sec, defines your eyes. Look straight ahead for me. Perfect. And sometimes with liner, I even will finish the makeup, like um, curl the lashes, put the mascara on, and then like go in and finesse any parts of the liner that I see fit once the rest of the makeup is on. Not like there's that much. And then if you make a boo-boo like I just did, grab a handy little tiny Q-tip. You know, when people are trying to figure out how to do liner, sometimes I, f I find they're, like they think they have to do it perfectly in one fell swoop. Yes. Guess what? Q-tips are our friends. Love that. I'm just sort of at a weird angle here, so there. Let's leave that for now. Woo! Cutie! Now, I'm gonna add some brow set to Alexandra's beautiful brows. I don't really have to add much to them, I just like to comb them into place, and this brow set is a nice way to do that. You right. tried Boy Brow by um, Glossier? Everyone's just like talking about it. No, I haven't. If you've used it. Should we, we try it? I think we should try it. Let's Let try me know it. in the comments down below if you guys use Boy Brow, because Great idea. I've heard that, is it that a, it's great. Is it a like a gel? I or? think you can get one that's a gel, and then there's a couple colors, oh. but people rave about it. So yeah, let me know in the comments. Now, there are days when you're open to a little bit of something on the skin. Yes. Alexandra, you have such an even skin tone. Thanks. Like, I, I understand why you're like, the one time I did choose to put foundation on her, I put face and body foundation because it's water-based. Yeah. And like, I put the sheerest layer, almost like moisturizer. She's like, I can feel it. <laughs> yeah. So this is water-based, so yeah. it's not like a heavy, I don't, I haven't worn foundation in like, like years, usually. I just, I just find it 
it kind of cakes on my skin, but I have to say when you did use this, I liked it. Yes. Because it feels very sheer and like not like a creamy foundation. Yeah. No, like it just feels like a, more like a moisturizer. Yeah, it does. And so I thought maybe I would just bring it up in in our video today yeah. because if I was gonna use foundation on you, this is what I would use. Yeah. And like when you did a TV segment, yes. we used a little bit of this. I was gonna say, when I do TV, then we do like actual makeup, like foundation and yeah. the lights are Conjure. so hard. Contour? Yes. <laughs> um, this concealer is called Prolong Wear Concealer. One pump is gonna be more than we even use on her whole face. You know me, I like to use a lot of fluffy brushes just yeah. because I find that you can really just put on the she most sheer amount. I'm just loading my brush very minimally and I'm going to just go right under your eyes where there's a tiny bit of purple. So notice how that just brightens but also isn't, um, doesn't really look like makeup. I just find it's nice to just use the like such a small amount. You get uh, minimal coverage but because I know how beautiful you look on camera without anything on your face. Like, I don't, I don't want to change your look. In fact, this concealer, I would say, could be used almost like a foundation Got it. concealer in one. And also, it it really just once it sets, it it will not crease or move. Um, Got it. Heat doesn't affect it. Got it. So that's why I thought it would be good for you. And now I love this part. It's my favorite product. <sighs> this is my all time favorite blush. I will never use anything else. I haven't used anything else in maybe three years. It's Cloud Paint by Glossier. I just love how creamy it is. It's light. My technique is just like putting it on those two fingers yeah. and I just love like just patting it in to Alexandra's apples. Like how Fresh and cute are you? <laughs> Ooh. And when I do it myself, I yeah. How do you do it? I kind of similar, but I like rub it and oh. then I use a brush oh. just to like make sure it. Oh. Well. Do you ever find that? Oh. Okay. What? I'm curious. You you pat it and then brush it and then just brush it so it like it really is like nice and um, even. Oh. You know. Yeah. Okay. Maybe I should try that. Uh, we just only have a couple more steps. I, I'm gonna ask you to curl your eyelashes. Yes. Because you're just so good at it. I mean, I can curl people's eyelashes, but I always find that clients can just do it better on themselves because you can get right in there close and really give it a crimp without. I agree. Oh, that looks good. Lash curlers are a bit of a desert island uh, item in my books because look at how awake she looks. I mean, she looked awake before. I, I The one thing I do if I, even if I wear like, even if I leave my house with no makeup on, or I'm having like a no makeup day, um, I always curl my eyelash. Good. Every day. Oh, this is also, I've been using this for years and years and years and years. Yep. Um, it's just like a Maybelline, the Colossal Lash Mascara. Yep. Um, I've changed it up a couple times and I just find that, I just keep coming back to this coming one. Back. It's really, I find when I put it on you, it's thickening, but defining. So, and I find that the, some of the other ones that I've tried um, fall. Yeah, they And melt. this one just like doesn't at all. I just feel like so much more like a human with mascara on. Yes. Doesn't oh, it, it I love it. It looks so pretty. It looks so good. So I'm gonna use, I'm not gonna re-dip, I'm just gonna use what's on this and do your lower lashes. And I, I like to even just like wiggle them, wiggle it into your root. Now, let's add a highlight to the high planes of your cheeks. This is like a special occasion thing we do. We don't yes. do this for every day of shooting. This one is uh, Charlotte Tilbury um, Easy Highlighter, Beauty Light Wand. There's so many words with these and it's in color Spotlight. Spotlight. And so I just like to even just put some of the spotlight on my hand. It comes out this squeezy tube. I don't generally put that on people's faces because I like to use it between uh, different people and then just grab again kind of a brush that will fit that part of your face and are you ready for the glow <laughs> <laughs> who wouldn't want to do this person's makeup that's just so happy hey <laughs> oh and i God. like to You're use, always happy. i use i use a little above your brow because you do have 
a gorgeous brow bone. And then I use just a little right on that orbital bone, we call it. And you can use your finger to rub it in just like that glossier. And notice like the difference, even do a little bit of a turn, turn, turn. There, like my glowy on the side. Yes, it's it's just a little bit of glow. It almost looks like, oh, I don't know, like you've had a really nice day at the <laughs> at the park <laughs> at the park. Or the, I was gonna say like the beach. Yes. What like everyday highlighter do you usually recommend? Yeah, I would say something like this, or even like just using um, some kind of elixir or, or facial oil and even putting it on your fingers and just doing a little bit of yes, a dab. Yes, I love that. Because it just, it's like skincare yes. that just acts as a highlighter, yeah. which I've, is also why we use the oil on your face before yes. any of the other products yes. because it's like a built-in glow. Yeah. MAC Prep and Prime Lip. I really like it. An this. absolute go-to when you're wearing any, especially matte lipsticks because they're on the drier side. And yeah. D for Danger, which is your signature color. You guys ask me all the time. I've mentioned it many times, but I'll mention it again. A close friend of mine gave me this for Christmas, and I'm so impressed that she nailed this. Sam, yeah. shout out to you. Um, she got this lip color. I'm like, that's kind of a personal thing to buy someone. Everyone asks me what this color is. Yeah. I love it. It's D for Danger. Yeah, it's fabulous. Yeah. Right now, just because I think it's almost easier to see the color go on, I'm using just a like a lip brush, but it's a nice way to control um, the the edges. It's trickier with a deep color like this for me to do a crisp look with the lipstick bullet. Mm -hmm. With more neutral colors, which we have done before, um, I'll go in right with the lipstick, but right now it's nice to just Lay that color down. So, getting that cute little Cupid's bow. D for Danger looks so pretty on you. I This light almost makes it seem pinker. Interesting. Than, than when we're at usually home. it's kind of like a deep Doesn't it deep look pinker red. right now? <laughs> I use this sometimes even before if I want you to feel like you've walked through a rainforest right. When, right when you get out of bed. But this Fix Plus is just like, Ah, just a nice little spritz you can use before, during, or after a makeup that just adds hydration. It's got some glycerin in it, so it actually gives the skin a little bit of protection. Yeah. Okay, that's so it. That's the Thank you so much. Alexandra makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Me too. Let us know down below if you want us to do a smoky eye edition, because I am. I think that we should do that next. Yeah. Okay. I'd okay. love to. Like uh, a brown smoky or a gray smoky. Ooh. Comment below. Yeah. Comment below. <laughs> or or black. I thought well, smoky well, was just black. No. no? Oh no wow. no. Okay. Smoky can be any color. Okay. Okay. So everyone down in the comments, <laughs> request what they want, and then we'll pick. We'll, okay, we'll, yeah. we'll go through the, we'll the, go through. the suggestions. Okay. But yeah, smoky doesn't have to be black. And if you guys um, have any questions for Alana, leave them down below. I will pass them on to you or Thank you can you. reply. Yes, I can. Um, and go follow Alana over on Instagram. I will link her Instagram down below. She does amazing art. You thrift. You do. You just like do it all. Do a few things. And I'm so glad we're friends. My same. <laughs> Thank you for having me. Thank you for doing <laughs> this. Thank you. I okay. love you. I hope you guys enjoyed this different, very different <laughs> video. Um, we might be onto something. Yeah, we might be onto something. <laughs> okay. I'll see you guys okay. next week. Bye. Bye.